Oh, hello! Welcome! In this video, I'm going to talk about the glass shattering mechanic in my latest Roblox game I'm working on called Death Trap Dodgeball. The link to the game is in the description, and you can play it right now. Alright, let's get to the code. So, all my glass panels are stored in one folder, and this script is also in there as well, and it runs through all the uh, children panels in the folder and sends them up to this function, which um, uses my module, uh, calls the new method on my module to create a panel, which takes the part and then creates an object that will manage the shattering. And then there's a touch check, and it checks some things like velocity and if it's a humanoid, and then it calls the shatter method. Okay, let's take a look at my module code. The concept is rather simple. It basically involves taking a block and dividing it up into smaller pieces. And then once you have the smaller pieces, you delete the original block and then add a bunch of forces to the pieces so they go flying ever which way and then tweak it until you get it how you like it. For mine I took it one step further. I wanted triangular shards and to do that I converted a block into corner wedges for smaller pieces. Take a glass panel. It's a block but it's I, I treat it geometrically like a 2D plane and I divide it up into a grid and then each uh, grid cell is turned into two corner wedges 